During the 1970s, when the communist regime was in full swing in Poland, a priest decided to speak out for freedom, democracy and human rights. He became a sort of spiritual director for many workers and eventually became one of the leaders of the workers' union called Solidarity. He was so outspoken that his homilies were even transmitted on a radio station that opposed the communist regime. His name was Jerzy Popielusko. On October 19, 1984, he was kidnapped by three officials who worked at the country's ministry department. He was killed and his lifeless body was later found in a lake. Now 28 years later, his life and work are being honored through a documentary. It tells the story of the Polish priest who was beatified by Benedict XVI back in 2010. His family, of course, traveled to Rome to see the documentary. I remember the last words my brother said at our home back in September of 1984. He said, all this is being done by faith and not by anything else, because with faith we can find joy and truth. I remember him well. Nothing could disturb his peace of mind because he found strength in faith, and that strength helped him launch his message of love and peace. He learned everything from our mother, patience, faith, closeness with siblings and neighbors. And like our mother, he never used physical force to get his point across. He only used words. The documentary is titled Messenger of Truth. It includes actual footage of the Polish priest. It will premiere in the U.S. in the month of November. Translations for other international showings are also in the works, but even so, the director says the life of the late priest has already had an international impact. When I was looking at this wonderful woman, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi from, from Burma, he was the same kind of guy, wasn't he? He just stood up and she stayed in house arrest for five years. He stood up and said exactly the same message. She was uh, being interviewed by Ann Curry on CNN. She was saying exactly the same words as Father Papiushko. I thought, well, I've done it. They're saying the same thing. They're repeating it over and over again. Maybe freedom can happen anyplace. The way he lived his life was strong faith as an ordinary priest, uh, the strong conviction that he had about proclaiming the truth, uh, his message of human rights, human dignity, and freedom and the courage that he had to speak out in a very dangerous time. John Paul II and Benedict XVI described him as a model for priest. In fact, his beatification on June 6, 2010 in Warsaw, Poland was attended by roughly 150,000 people, including 16,000 priests and about 100 bishops.